I've just finished my custom made CNC plasma cutter. And you know, I took a lot of inspiration from a project called the JD's Garage Plasma Cutter. I'll show you that in a second. But I had a little bit different vision. And you know, the biggest thing is I wanted to have it underneath a workbench. And you can see here is the finished product. And you know, it looks like uh, uh, the uh, you know the Langmuir um, product, which is something you can buy, and I think it's actually quite a good value. But again, I you know I don't think I use it all the time. I have a lot of different kinds of projects that I do in the shop: woodworking, metalworking, cars, electronics, and I just wanted to be able to to stow it away. And so uh, again, this is my this is my original vision. Uh, and ultimately, I took just took a workbench and then built the combination Langmuir JD's Garage um, project underneath. Here's the JD's Garage one. And like I said, I can't say enough great about this project. You know, I did buy the plans from them and they're quite reasonably priced and I recommend buying them. I also bought their torch height controller just because again, I thought that they did a, a brilliant job. You know, there's um, a simplicity of design that is just genius in the work that they've done. And you know, what they've done is they've created a project that you don't have to be an electrical engineer who owns a machine shop to go make. And I, I really got inspired by it. And, you know, now having said that, I am an electrical engineer with a machine shop and so I made some changes, but I, I really just can't say enough good about their project and recommend uh, looking at what they've done. I think it's brilliant. Uh, this is a short video. So first thing I did was I, I machined out the, um, uh, the the steel components. This is uh, the Z axis, uh, and I you know cutting it on my milling machine. I designed a lot of parts. There, anyway, here's here's one of the here's one of the parts I'm I'm creating with my 3D printer, and here is here's the Z axis complete. And again, this is the essentially the JD's garage. Um, here's the JD's garage. Uh, you know, Z axis works great, by the way. Um, here's my electronics. Again, I used uh, an Arduino Mega, the uh, JD's Garage people use an Arduino, and then I'll show you I actually uh, have subsequently upgraded to an ESP32, which they have done as well. Really recommend that, 24 volt power supply. Uh, here's the here's the frame, and uh, you know I'm, I'm welding it with my Miller um, my Miller triplot process welder. Uh, I created a frame, and then the other thing that I did was I actually created storage for sheet metal underneath. And I've got currently about a thousand pounds of sheet metal underneath. Here is the um, the Y axis and the X axis completed. Again, it looks like a copy of the Langmuir or a or a facsimile of it. Um, uh, here's here's the whole here's the whole system. You can see before I've painted the frame. I got a Lodos plasma cutter. Seems to be working just great. Uh, I had to do. I had to debounce the uh, limit switches, so I put a low-pass filter in the limit switches. I think I might turn this into a real circuit board, but it, you know, something I was able to to uh, gen up in 20 minutes. Here's the completed frame, and this is upside down, but you can see I've got a spot for uh, two foot by four foot sheet metal on the bottom, and then in the middle I've got two foot by two foot, which is mostly what I've been using. Uh, here it is, uh, right side up, and the whole thing painted up. Here's some of my initial cuts. You can see I did a little two inch by two inch square, and then I did a you know a circle, a square, a, um, a hexagon, and an oval just to see how it was working and dial in the settings. Here's a bunch of um, here's a bunch of test cuts that I did. Here's the finished product, and you can see I've put you know kind of um, curved sheet metal in there. It helps everything fit in. And one of the other um, innovations that I did is I don't know if you can see it here, right here on the bottom. There is a um, there's a little pump, and so I um, ultimately fill it up when I'm using it, and then drain it when I'm not. It takes about a minute or two. You can see over to the left side there. There's the there's a little fuel caddy that I used for the for the cutting fluid. Here it is cutting. Um, here's a cutting a, a sign that I made. Here's a view of the actual cutting. This is again, this is a, just a test piece. This is eighth inch steel. Uh, it really works great, right? I I'm, uh, have no trouble at all with the uh, the inexpensive Lotos plasma cutter. It's done a good job. I sped it up a little bit after this, but you know, especially the Z-axis homing, but it's you know working just great. Here's again, here's the here's the tank for the fluid. You know, so the the kind of the three innovations that I did on my own. Uh, one is I put it in a in a, something that I could put a top on. I'll show you that in a second. With the workbench two is I made the fluid removable uh, in this in this um, caddy. And then the third thing was I made um, some storage underneath the device itself to put the sheet metal. Uh, here is my uh, my initial look at a tabletop, and then there it is complete. And you can see that when I'm not using it, it just stows in line. And I made it the same height as my table saw, so that I could use that as a as a workbench. Uh, and that way, you know, the most of the time that I'm not using it, it kind of sticks sticks in itself in a corner and is useful as a as a workbench. 
Uh, here's a here's a half of a shelf that I made. A friend of mine's got like two hammocks, and there's like this this post between them. So I made this shelf, and I'll show you another view. Uh, there it is. It's called Peak View. Is is uh, the name of his Airbnb. And so, uh, by the way, I recommend it. I stayed there. It was really nice. So this is a powder coated uh, version. And then here's another. Um, here's a sign that I made for the same guest house. And you know this uh, uh, has a great view of Pikes Peak. And so there is an outline of Pikes Peak. And this is a uh, two foot by 18 inch, 24 by 18 inch sign. Um, really, very nice. I have a little more dialing in to do, but it's making nice sharp cutouts and, and behaving itself very well. So, again, here was my uh, concept that I drew up in CAD when I first conceived of the project, and here's the uh, here's the finished product. So, super happy with it, and again, can't say enough about the JD's Garage. Um, project that I took inspiration from. I thought they did an excellent job and I'm very happy with the overall system.